it as your feel-good breakfast show in your own S3. We're still all about celebrating those amazing women. It's the final days of Women's Month. Now, historically, afternoon tea was recognized as a space for women to find companionship and also initiate projects that were both social as well as political. Tomorrow, African Fashion International is celebrating the spirit of this with their free virtual Power to Empower Tea for Women's Month, which will see a panel of women who are paving the way for the next generation of female leaders, mentor the audience on self as well as business development. And joining us now is one of the speakers, AFI Fast Track Program Designer, Anita Makhetla. Good morning, Anita. How are you? Good morning. I'm very well. How are you? Uh, all the better for connecting with you this morning. It sounds like a brilliant initiative. Before we talk about the broader focus, let's focus on what you do. What inspired your focus on sustainable fashion in your work and the upcycling of old clothes into very valuable pieces now? What was your inspiration? Well, I think I've always been one of those kids who used to cut up my clothes to my dad's absolute chagrin. <laughs> um, but I think... You know, there's always something beautiful about taking something that other people see as worthless and turning it into something beautiful. Um, I think I learned a lot of that from Marianne Fassler. She's one of my mm. existing mentors and friends. And there's just something so exciting about taking something that most people overlook and creating something beautiful. Oh, look at For that. Sure. We're seeing some visuals right something now. Something exquisitely and it is beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. How has the AFI Fast Track Development Program been, been an integral in helping get your, you know, your ethos pieces and also just your name out there? Um, I think, you know, a lot, of, a lot of us that applied for Fast Track really wanted an opportunity to get our names out there, to reach people who would never have known us. You know, we all have our own personal uh, social media spheres, but... To find a target market that really understands and is willing to spend, you need to go beyond your friend circle. And I think a lot of us see a program like Fast Track as an opportunity to really expand your boundaries. Well, I mean, it's being proven. Here you are on national TV talking about it. Clearly, the platform works. What are you going to be speaking about at the Fast Track um, finalist, at, as one of those finalists, at the Power to Empower Tea event, which sounds amazing. Um, tell us what you're going to be showcasing and what's going to be your narrative for the event. Well, I'll be taking part in discussions alongside some really incredible panelists. But as well as that, me and the other Fast Track finalists will be showing our um, power looks. And for that, that means like, you know, looks that we consider as empowering looks, the type of things that when you say someone's power dressing, what does that mean? And what are you trying to evoke with that? So us alongside other AFI designers will be showing just empowering looks. Love and that. what is power dressing to you, Anita? I think, and I think a lot of us would agree that power dressing is dressing in a way that makes you feel powerful. Whether that is your exercise outfit, you know what I mean? If you think about athletes, an athlete's power look would be performance wear. Whereas uh, someone who works in corporate, it might be a suit or, you know, a blazer with, a, with big shoulder pads. These are all things that for the individual become a power look. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. And you spoke about some big names that's joining sure, you guys for yeah. the virtual event tomorrow. It is obviously being hosted by Dr. Precious Malloy Mutsepe in Johannesburg, and then our very own Mambasi Kumalo here in Cape Town, and then Zozi Tunzi in Durban. I mean, big, wow, big powerhouses yeah. of women. Why do you encourage people to really gain knowledge from the accomplished panelists, as well as register to be part of the virtual tea tomorrow? Well, I think, you know, alongside the host, we also have incredible women from like different fields. So I know we have um, someone from FIFA. We have someone who I think works in tra transport. I'm not going to rattle off the names, but I think, you know, there's, there's people from different fields that can appeal to everyone's interests. And I think it's really important to listen to women. I mean, you know, during Women's Month, we constantly say this. We have to listen more to women. And this is giving everyone an opportunity, a free opportunity, mind you, to listen to women who have done incredible things in their field. And, and I think for, for the rise, the trajectory of 
smaller companies for entrepreneurs, mentorship is absolutely vital. So I love the fact that this is being created on a platform on a scale that is this big. Anita, you seem like an absolute gem. Your work is amazing. Enjoy, relish the opportunity to join such an amazing panel. You've certainly earned the right to be there. And we can't wait to see what the future holds for you. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Power, power, power. Now you can harness your power to empower yourself with AFI's Power to Empower Tea that will be taking place virtually tomorrow, Tuesday, the 31st of August. Register for your free attendance by visiting AfricanFashionInternational.com and you can also apply to be a mentor or a mentee in the AFI Power to Empower Mentorship Program, which aims to cultivate mentorship in different fields. Now registration for this program is also available at AfricanFashionInternational.com.